Hello, Vanakam. My name is Valli. I'm a volunteer at um, Utah Tamil Sangam. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make beetroot vadai, which is uh, a not so popular dish even within Tamil Nadu. It's extremely delicious um, dish. So let's just jump right into it and um, see the ingredient list. Um, I've got about a cup and a half of um, chana dal soaked for about um, two hours now. And I've got um, uh, two cups of uh, beetroot, grated beetroot here. Just had to use some elbow grease here and I used a plain old grater. Um, the larger side of the um, grater is, uh, is fine for this. And um, some onions, um, cilantro, and then I've got um, fennel seeds, about a teaspoon of fennel seeds here and a teaspoon of um, cumin seeds here and uh, a pinch of asafoetida and some um, dried red chilies and then you know salt as you need it um, so the grinding and the texture of the of the chana dal um, is is very important for this recipe so I, I saved it um, here and to show you how to grind it and usually for the regular uh, chana dal vadai I just use the blunt tuck um, but this for this purpose because the beetroot already has um, a lot of water content in it we want to make sure that the chana dal is um, ground as um, without much water um, try to avoid as much water as you can and also um, grind it coarsely so i'm just going to show you how to do that Um, and then in goes the um, fennel seeds, the cumin seeds, asafoetida, and the green chilies. Just gonna grind it. And basically that's it I'm gonna show you the close-up of how the ground mixture looks like if you look at this it's gonna be like really really coarse and that's the texture um, we want for the vadai um, so I'm gonna okay so the dal is ready now and I'm going to um, mix the beetroot um, but not entirely um, right now just gradually making sure that this is not too much beetroot for the cup and a half of um, dal so usually i don't have um, i usually eyeball the um, amount of beetroot that goes in and this is the first time i'm trying to quantify um, um, what's the exact amount of beetroot that would go in just give it a good mix rule of thumb is to uh, make sure there's equal amounts of um, beetroot and dal so it has to be sweet this, so this vada is going to be um, slightly sweet um, so the the um, beetroots flavor and the sweetness has to come out so make sure you add enough beetroot otherwise it's just gonna taste like a plain old um, parupu vada I mean um, chana dal vada And look at how thick the mixture is it's you're gonna be able to um, spoon it into the oil so it has to be super thick and it's going to kind of uh, the mixture would, would get loose as time goes by so make sure that you once you have this mixture ready um, you make the vada immediately even so it's going to get a bit soggy at the end you you would see and um, just have to squeeze out the beetroot juice before it goes into the oil towards the end of the um of this batch Need some more oh well so you can now put in the onions and the cilantro 
again eyeball the salt quantity give it a good mix okay so the oil is hot now um i'm gonna have to on cup now comes the messy part just shape it up with your hands like this um and you don't have to be too specific about the shape and just drop it in and beetroot vada traditionally is not um, an accompaniment for breakfast but for lunch this is usually had with rice sambar rasam and veggies the smaller the vada is it's going to be tastier so make sure that the balls are not too um huge like the traditional chana dal vadai or even the urad dal vadai you don't need as much um mixture vadai mixture to make these balls take a long time to cook and it gets cooked uh, pretty quickly okay the vada has been in for a good few minutes it's good to come out and the beetroot vada is um going to be um soft it's not going to be crunchy like a chana dal vada it's going to be um soft which um is unique to this vada so i just wanted to show you the last batch um so you see this this one here it's um kind of like because of the water content it is soaked up a lot of oil and we don't I mean there's nothing harm in that you could just um fry the last batch like that or what i like to do is just i just wanted to share all the tips um with you um to make to make larger batches i guess um so what i've done here you can see that you know it's you can see the liquid i've squeezed it out and made balls um without as much as i can removing the water content so the um vada does not um soak up the oil or drink up the oil um so that's just one thing that i wanted to um share all right this is the last batch all right so the vada is ready to be served we've got a a, a typical um tamil lunch we've got the sambar rasam and the veggies and the vada is served with the veggies as a as a veggie and i'm going to try something that professionals try and i want to show the close up of this but i uh... soft it's not going to be crunchy like a traditional but i it's really yummy thank you for watching this video um do try this at home and uh, hopefully you'll like it too and um can't wait for next year's india mela um thank you so much